this is Connie from Minerva, and today we're talking all about wall fabrics. First, let's start with the pronunciation. Voile is a French word meaning veil. This fabric has been around since the 1800s. It usually came in the color white. It was pure cotton and unsurprisingly, it was used to make veils. However, today we have a lot more options on the market. <laughs> um, instead of just coming in white cotton, it can also come in linen, polyester, silk, um, and any kind of blend that you can dream of. The wall can be used for garment sewing or home sewing. Uh, in the home, you can see it used for mosquito netting, for pillowcases, for decorative items, as well as curtains. Um, usually the lightweight curtains that are still letting the light pass through but giving you a little bit of privacy. For garment sewing, because it is a lightweight fabric, uh, it works great for either lingerie and delicate items or for summer clothing, so button-up shirts, dresses. Um, however, since you can layer the fabrics, that means you can make it work for any season if you're really motivated. Um, layering them for warmth uh, to make sure that they're opaque enough. Um, so as usual, whenever you're sewing, it's really up to you what you want to create. But when it does come to garment sewing with wall fabrics, I do recommend having uh, rotary cutters on hand in addition to your normal shears. Uh, if you're working on clothing such as button-up shirts, those smaller pieces such as the collar stand, the collar, cuffs, plackets, um, since you're handling them more and the fabric is, is quite thin and slippery, um, rotary cutters can really come in handy. And now let's look at some of the beautiful options we have available on Minerva.com. Now I'm going to be showing you some of the core range of wall fabrics on Minerva.com. I want to start with some of the prints because they're always my favorites. Uh, first up is this coral feather print. So this one is actually a blend of rayon and nylon. So it's very drapey and if you're used to wearing ready to wear clothing, this is going to feel very comfortable and familiar to you. Um, I really like the texture on this one. You can kind of see the thread counts. Um, and the colors are really nice with the, the pink and this kind of bluish green all mixing together on the coral background. This next one is actually my favorite. I would love to make a cool party shirt out of this one. Um, this is a mix of cotton and rayon, which is probably one of my favorite blends. So you have the breathability of cotton with that kind of flowiness of rayon that I really love. And same, the texture here is great. This is also cool because it's gender neutral option very colorful you can imagine a dress a shirt a skirt maybe even pajamas honestly it works for anybody this option is a bit different because it has a really cool crinkle texture to it um, it's nice because you have a floral which we see often when it comes to fabric i mean everyone loves a floral uh, but combined with this pastel rainbow stripe pattern. So this one is pretty transparent. You definitely need to line it. Um, later, I'm going to show you a dress that someone made out of this. You can use the, the print vertically, horizontally, even on the bias, it, it could look pretty cool. So this one is a nice non-traditional option if you want something colorful, but not too bright, um, with a nice texture to it. If you're looking for a more traditional or quiet color option, but you still want the cool print, I love this polyester wall. This is cool because it does have a, it is pretty transparent, but it has a really cool checker pattern on it. And I think this is also a great gender neutral option. Um, I've seen people make dresses out of this one, but it could also be a pretty edgy look for a guy. And this one is 100% polyester, but since it is transparent, it's still gonna be breathable enough. And now let me show you some of the floral prints that we have. The first one up is this cotton and silk blend. It's 80% cotton and 20% silk. Um, so as you can see, it is very light, transparent, with a pretty large scale print. Uh, so even though it is super light fabric, since it has silk and cotton, those are both, both pretty strong fibers. Um, as you can see, this would work great layering with other colors, so with white behind it to really make the print pop, um, or maybe with a darker color for something a little bit more subtle. 
and this option is a more classic floral. Um, because of the scale and actually the colors as well, I would say this can give you some more vintage vibes if you're into that, especially when it comes to clothing. So a fit and flare dress, something with a really big skirt, a pencil skirt even. Um, this one is 100% cotton, so it has a really good structure to it as well. It also works great for home crafts if you just want to add a little print, a touch of color to your projects. I also love keeping um, cotton voile on hand for linings and for pockets and even the, the inside collar stands if you want to add a touch of color to the inside of your garments that really make it personal. These next two florals both have a kind of watercolor print going on, although they're quite different. So this first one is actually a Ralph Lauren fabric. I love when you can snatch up those cool designer fabrics uh, on Minerva sometimes if you look hard enough. Uh, so this one, you do have these floral designs and then inside is where you have the watercolor print. Uh, this one is just so soft and airy, of course, a little bit transparent, but not, not too much. And then the other one has a bolder print, I would say. Um, it's bright, but it's dark, which I always enjoy a dark floral. And this one is a cotton and rayon blend, which is always my favorite. And the next category of fabrics, I would describe as a little bit extra. Um, so this first one is really incredible. I think it's really special. Um, it's kind of a holographic print. So what they've done is it's actually two different fabrics, uh, both polyester, uh, printed with the same floral design. Um, and then they're sewn together at intervals. I think the overall effect is very mesmerizing and this would look amazing in a party dress. Also, whenever it's moving a little bit, it's when you get this kind of like holographic effect. So the flowers kind of moving. It can be a little bit trippy at times, but it's just so interesting. Definitely, if you want to make a conversation piece, go with this. The next piece is also a floral featuring some really gorgeous green embroidery. So for this, you definitely need um, some, some kind of underlining here. Uh, it is transparent as well as featuring these holes at the center of each flower. The texture is really satisfying, um, even from a distance. Um, having the print with the texture of the embroidery, I think is really gorgeous. Um, it's a pretty feminine, uh, pretty feminine print, uh, large flowers as well. Uh, so this would work great for a dress or for a skirt. And if you like a little razzle dazzle, then I would recommend these two sequined options. So this first one is pretty chic on this neutral ivory background uh, with some forest green embroidery. And then at the end of each stem, you have these little flowers with just a bit of pink sequins. So it adds just a nice subtle sparkle to any garment that you want to make with this. And then this one is very much in your face, a girly combo. Uh, so this kind of candy pink color featuring flowers that are all done in sequins. And this fabric, I would say, has everything going on, but without being too busy somehow. Um, so we have a pretty subdued color palette, white, uh, gray, and this kind of duck egg blue, I would say. Um, but as you can see when you're a bit closer, it has florals, it has stripes, it has transparent parts, um, and a really interesting texture as well, almost a bit crinkly. So it really has everything going on, but it doesn't feel overwhelming. Um, obviously this would need to be underlined because of the transparency, but it's uh, also a very soft fabric. So this would work great with any kind of girly garment that you want to make with it. Skirt, a dress, a shirt. And now let me take you through a few of the solid options that we have on Minerva. Uh, starting up is this 100% cotton voile in white. Um, this one comes in white or ivory. I always love to keep a few meters of this in my fabric stash. It just comes in handy if you need to reinforce some pieces, use it as a lining, and because it's white, it goes with any of your projects. So I usually keep um, a black one and a white one on hand at all times. 
the solids also come in some really bright colors. So we have this aqua, which is also a cotton, and this ochre. Uh, these are both from the same range, and it's available in like more than 10 colors. So click on the link and you can check them all out on Minerva.com. Um, this works great as well for lining. For example, if you have another fabric that's a bit transparent, you can actually choose to put a color behind there instead of a neutral. Um, you can also use them alone, so for example, um, peasant blouses or uh, button-up shirts as well. Um, it's also very fun to imagine color blocking with two solids. Um, like even these colors go, go well together actually. And of course, wall fabric also comes in other fibers. Um, so this red color is 100% rayon fabric. Same, it's also available in more than 10 colors on the Minerva website. Because it is rayon, it is quite drapey and soft. If you're looking for a really chic option uh, for a special event, or even for every day, um, this is a Robert Kaufman wall fabric. Uh, this color is champagne, and it is a mix of cotton and silk. As you can see, one side of it is quite shiny and satiny looking, and then the other side is more matte. So there's not a wrong side and a right side, I would say, it really depends on your project. Uh, so for example, I could imagine a nice pussy bow blouse um, or kind of an elegant uh, evening dress. Um, this would work great for um, a bias cut silk top as well. And our final two fabrics are also solids, but they are both transparent. So they look pretty similar at uh, first glance, um, but this pale pink is a polyester wall, and this light gray is pure silk wall. So whenever you're touching them, you can feel the difference. Um, but if you want a more budget option, then go for polyester. And then if you want a long lasting, high quality option, then go for the silk. Um, as you can see, they're both really airy and beautiful, um, and actually the colors look great together. Um, that's what's really fun about transparent fabrics is that you can, for example, take multiple layers of this pink um, and make kind of like a princess dress, even a costume, uh, something very feminine. It's kind of like, you know, tool layering it up for volume and for colors, um, but you could also layer together different fabrics. I think it would also be fun to use this kind of fabric uh, for details such as the sleeve on a dress uh, that's transparent while the rest is obviously uh, opaque. Um, those little details like ruffles, sleeves, collars, um, it would also be cool to see an entire shirt made out of this kind of fabric layered on an undershirt. And now let's talk about different things that you can make with these fabrics. What can you sew with wall fabric? Uh, first, I'd like to show you this dress by SoFlo. She actually used one of the fabrics that we saw earlier, this crinkle print. Um, so she fully lined it so that it is not transparent. Um, and what's great whenever you do line an entire garment is that it makes for a really neat finishing whenever you're hiding like uh, zippers and these kind of things. So it's a very simple silhouette that honestly works great to showcase any print that you have in mind. And as you can see, she's playing with the print by using it horizontally on top and then vertically on the bottom. And next up is Jen, who sewed McCall's 7969 using this coral feather print fabric. So this is a kind of loose fitting, comfortable, but feminine design, kind of like a peasant blouse on top with a loose fitting skirt. Um, so if you want a big four pattern, um, the McCall's 7969 is really nice as Jen did. Otherwise, if you're more into indie sewing patterns, I would go for the True Bias Roscoe dress. Um, same, this is, works great in a print or in a solid, um, and it's great because you're going to be comfortable and cool during the summer as well. Another great flowy dress option is the Wilder gown by Friday Pattern Company. So Gayasti used this blue check fabric. Um, I think it would also be fun to layer this um, with one of the solids. For example, layered with the yellow, it adds this nice contrast. Or even with a white color underneath if you want to lighten it up a little bit. I would also recommend any of the patterns from By Hand London. I love this example of the Jenna dress that Zuby Zuby Zoo sewed up in our embroidered wall. 
Um, this is just really gorgeous uh, and it's really showcased well in this, in this dress. Um, I also love By Hand London's most recent pattern, the Mary shirt and dress. It's a smock style shirt with a really interesting collar. Um, so if you use a solid wall such as white, it gives, this, it, gives it a more vintage and a classic look. Um, but you could also change it up and use one of these brighter options we have. Uh, again, there's so many solids available on Minerva. Um, if you want kind of a modern pop take on that vintage style design. But anything from By Hand London would work great in a wall. Just keep in mind how you're going to underline that dress or the shirt. Thanks for watching and happy sewing.